It won't cost you more than five minutes. With this quick check, you'll keep an eye on your cat's health and not only spot illnesses early, but also save both you and your feline friend unnecessary and, above all, unpleasant trips to the vet. Weight. Weigh your cat once a month and record the weight. This will help you determine two things. Firstly, whether there has been a significant weight gain or loss within a month. Noticeable fluctuations can be a sign of an underlying illness that needs attention. Additionally, documenting the weight allows you to track long-term changes. Obesity, in particular, often develops gradually, and without keeping an eye on the numbers, you might only notice it very late. Coat. A healthy coat is clean, shiny, and dense. When checking, ensure the fur doesn't appear dull or lackluster, and there are no scales on the skin or in the fur. Knots or bald spots should also be absent. Fur and skin often suffer when the quality of the diet is poor, or there's an issue with metabolism, indicating an underlying health problem. Additionally, make sure your cat is free from parasites. For instance, you can detect flea infestations using the paper test. If you find small black crumbs on the skin or in the fur, it could be flea excrement. When you place these crumbs on white kitchen paper and add a bit of water, they will turn red, indicating that your cat has fleas. Skin. Gently brush your cat against the grain of their fur and inspect the skin. Any abnormalities should stand out. Check for swelling, redness, or open sores. The skin should feel soft and elastic. Eyes. A cat's eyes can reveal a lot because they are very sensitive. A healthy cat's eye is clear and free from discharge. Additionally, take a look at the nictitating membrane, the third eyelid located on the nasal side of the eye. It should be concealed and not show any signs of redness. Ears. Healthy and well-maintained cat ears are clean, unobstructed, and have little to no odor. If you notice that your cat's ear canal is heavily coated with earwax or emits an unpleasant odor, something might be amiss. Also, be attentive to any dark, crumbly debris in the ears, as it could indicate ear mites, especially if your cat goes outdoors. Teeth. If your cat doesn't like having its mouth handled, gradually introduce them to it with treats. Pay attention to three key aspects. Firstly, ensure there's no significant tartar buildup that is starting to penetrate the gum line. Secondly, the gums should be pink and free from inflammation. And thirdly, there should be no broken teeth. Paws. Cat paws endure a lot of wear and tear. During the health check, look for excessively dry skin, cracks, or wounds on the paw pads. This is especially important for outdoor cats, particularly in winter when snow, ice, and road salt can be tough on paw pads. For indoor cats, focus on their claws. They shouldn't be too long, and most importantly, they shouldn't be ingrown, as this can be very painful. Breathing. When your cat is resting, their breathing should be calm, regular, and free from unusual sounds. Wheezing or coughing is not normal and should be closely observed. Body. While petting and massaging your cat, you can conduct a few essential tests. Firstly, ensure there are no noticeable irregularities or lumps. Such findings could be a sign of a tumor, which should be promptly assessed by a veterinarian if discovered. Additionally, pay attention to sensitivity to touch. Lastly, perform the skin tent test. Pull a small piece of skin away from the body and release it. The skin should quickly return to its original position. If the skin stays where it is or forms a fold, your cat may be dehydrated, possibly due to inadequate water intake. Behavior. The last two points involve observations over the past few weeks that you should review. Is your cat behaving as usual, or have you noticed any changes or withdrawal in any way? Is she eating and drinking normally? Is she sleeping as much as usual, or barely getting out of her bed? And is your cat still as playful as ever? Significant changes in behavior often have a reason, so keep a close eye on them. Digestion. Is your cat using her litter box regularly as usual? Is her stool normal, or is your feline friend struggling with digestive issues like diarrhea or constipation? Even though it's not the most pleasant task, take a closer look at the feces. Does it appear normal and soft, or does it have an altered color or consistency? Pay particular attention to the absence of blood or mucus in your cat's stool. 
Note, this quick check does not replace a visit to the vet, of course. However, it gives you the opportunity to monitor your cat's health more closely and detect unusual changes early. If you perform this check once a month, you'll not only have a short-term view of your cat's health, but also document essential information over an extended period. In case of doubt, this can even assist the vet in diagnosing and investigating an illness more easily. A topic strongly related to cat health is proper nutrition. If you want to learn more about what sets Strays' organic cat food apart and why we've included it in our shop, click on the left image to watch our video. And if you want to know how to recognize if a cat is developing diabetes, click on the right image.